sleepy over there. Well, good morning from Nashville. We got in late last night. Just enough time to get set up, cook, watch a little TV and relax. Let's see what's going on outside the door here. Imagine that, more rain. We are in Nashville and our first stop is right here at the Party Fowl restaurant. We're gonna get some hot chicken and whatever else, but Jason you can't come to hot chicken. Yeah, you can't come to Nashville without getting your hot chicken. At least I can't. I gotta see what this hot chicken is all about. So I'm not a big hot spicy person, but I'll take a bite of Jason's. Here's what we came for. Nashville hot chicken. And you can get it all kinds of different ways. And they have from you can handle this to poltergeist. You've been warned. So I got the half chicken, hot chicken, which has a blend of ghost pepper, habanero, and Carolina Reaper. I also have a side right here of poltergeist, which is even more extreme hot. I'm feeling the heat come on. It's coming on slowly, but here, here it comes. Oh, come on, man. Come on. You do it, I'm gonna do it. I'll do it, we'll do it at the same time. I'm already. <laughs> we'll do it at the same time. Come on, man. Look, me and Chris are gonna right. do it together. Except I'm gonna throw it in some ranch. You throw Kinda it. dole it out a little bit. All right, look. A little there, a little ranch. It is, it's, it creep up on you. Is it creeping up on you, Chase? Very slightly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Instead of the Carolina Reaper, they should call that the Carolina Creeper. Yeah. There it goes. Hey, free, free, free. There it goes. Yep. This right here made the difference. When you dip it into the poltergeist, that's when things change. Now we're talking. Hot. Chicken. That chicken is good. It's definitely creepy. creepy. <laughs> it made me uh this is like a, a love story. <laughs> this is a good feeling. This is a good feeling. The hot is a good feeling. All right. Okay, you ready? No. I had the hot chicken, mild, and beignets. So it comes served. It's like an open face sandwich. So we've got the Texas toast and the pickles. I can't handle the hot like Jason can. That mild, to me, has a kick. So there is no way I can eat what he's eating. It's got a really good flavor to it, though. And I love these fries. They're really, really thin cut fries. But I'm saving the beignets for dessert. Lori, what's the matter over there? Are you, are you on fire? I am. <laughs> I am. It's not hot, don't lie. What? I'm working hard eating. <laughs> That's a habanero sitting in the poltergeist sauce. I'm surprised that the poltergeist sauce, it's hot, but I'm really having no problem with it. I can handle the heat more than I thought I could. Chris here, on the other hand, cannot. <laughs> there is no way I could eat the regular hot chicken. No way. Um, but I'm lucky in that I have beignets to wash down all this heat. So if you're in Nashville, you can't come to Nashville without seeing the Opryland Hotel. It has been 
I think I was 12 years old last time I was in Nashville and we did come here. We didn't stay here because we stayed in an RV too. But um, this place is just like massive. And so we're inside right now and it's like a conservatory and there's all these live plants and it's nice and warm in here. So this is kept the same temperature year round, whether it's cold outside or hot outside, so these plants can stay happy. Let's go check it out. I don't remember anything about this place. This place is pretty cool. I haven't been here since I was a kid. I just remembered it being very grand. It's beautiful. It's still grand, isn't it's it? It's very grand, yes. Love the temperature in here because it could be 30 degrees outside. You just come in here and it's like tropical paradise. Check this out, you guys. You know what that is? It's the backside, backside of water. <laughs> yeah, my Disney nerd just came out really hard. I saw a waterfall that you could walk behind. I'm like, that's the backside of water. If you get that reference, let us know. Is it pretty? It is very pretty, yes. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, this is like a general store. There is a Starbucks in here too, but they have a little sign here that says a taste of Tennessee. And right here, they have what you call an I pour it station where there's wines on tap and local beer on tap. I've got my eye on one and it is called the Yeehaw Easy. It's an American lager and it's 75 cents per ounce. Okay, so the iPort station is down and out. They do not work, so we're not gonna get any of that. So we found these like homemade, not homemade, but like custom made popsicles. That thing has got an entire Oreo in it. Oh yeah. This is how you watch football, right here. Go Nashville. Nashville knows how to watch football. We're right here on 5th and Broadway. I am like in paradise right now. You have no idea. And of course there's a band in here too. Okay, so we're finished eating, and we come to the fifth floor of Old Red, and there's this. We got live entertainment here, we got a bar, we got a open deck on the fifth floor overlooking Broadway. I love this place. I don't know how anybody couldn't like this place. Hot chicken and barbecue. Live music, all you want. What's not to like? Ooh, we're feeling the burn because we just took the steps up to the pedestrian bridge, which looks super cool, by the way. And we're gonna get a little bird's eye view of downtown Nashville. I can't breathe. There's a lot of stairs. <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of cool if the Titans were playing right there in Nissan Stadium, but. Then it's kind of cool or not because it'd be way more busy. That's the good point. Yeah, during the game, it'd be fine. It'd be like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. After the game, it'd be flooded with people down here.
So sometimes I don't understand modern art. From a distance, that looked like roller coaster tracks. Up close, I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> if a country music star can put her name on a Tex-Mex restaurant and be any good. I've got the brisket quesadilla. It's actually better than I thought it would be. There's like chopped up peppers mixed in with the brisket so it's actually crunchy. I'll give that one a thumbs up. That's actually a really good quesadilla. So the gringo tacos are great. Super crispy tortilla shells. I'm eating the first one straight up. I got some queso dip coming. I'm gonna pour a little white cheese on the last two, but so far, so good, y'all. I mean, crispy tortilla shells, ground beef is seasoned just right. Queso. I love these damn gringo tacos. We had a great couple of days in Nashville. It's time to put the Tennessee sticker on. So we've had to change our plans a little bit. We have to get home sooner than we planned. So we had to postpone Kentucky to a different trip and we've decided we have to postpone Mississippi to another trip. So this will be the last sticker of the trip. It's like bittersweet. I'm ready to go home and see the kids and my mom and his mom and the house and our dog but I'm gonna miss Ellie. This has been a wonderful trip and we can't wait to get back on the road. But the last sticker of the trip goes on now, Tennessee. There we go. That's it.